here's the host, Dave Ho. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Late Night in Whitewater 4, February 24th, 1999. Glad you're with us here on Cable 6 and in the studio audience as well. Cool show lined up for you guys, really. We got uh, a lot of cool guests, a uh, nice group in here. But first, I have to let you know that Kate Moss is in the news again. Did you guys hear about this? No. 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 Well, then I'll tell you. Kate Moss is in the news. Uh, apparently, Calvin Klein has dropped her as a model after hearing of her addiction to marijuana. Klein says that he's going to be going in a different direction with his advertising campaign, and obviously, Kate Moss isn't a part of that. Upon hearing this news, Moss was so upset that she couldn't even vomit up the one potato chip she had for dinner. <laughs> <sighs> Very sad. A new study says that 31% of high school boys have tried cigars in the last month. In an unrelated story, a new study finds that 31% of high school boys one day want to become president. <laughs> American. Mark McGuire uh, has stated in an interview that this year he can and probably will break his own record of 70 home runs in a single season. McGuire was quoted as saying, if I can hit 70 while just popping steroids, just think how many I can hit hopped up on crank. Best of luck to you, Big Mac. <laughs> uh, do you guys remember the high school teacher that was uh, convicted of having sex and mothering a child by one of her students? Sounds like a Dawson's Creek. Sounds like a Dawson's Creek episode, doesn't it? Well, uh, in an interview on Inside Edition, the 15-year-old boy said that he's been dating other girls despite the threat of automatic castration by her former teacher. Or, uh, I'm sorry, by his former teacher. The real-life quote from the young man was that it really turns me on to see her get mad. He later went on to say that his former teacher was his favorite girlfriend. Why? Because unlike others, she has breasts. <laughs> And finally tonight, Time Magazine unveiled its top 100 news stories of the 20th century. Topping the list was the atomic bomb being dropped on Hiroshima. However, just missing the list at number 101 was this one. I guess, uh, well, this is kind of cool. I guess it happened just yesterday, February 23rd, 1999. It says that uh, Dave Holt got pubic hairs. <laughs> Gordy, did you know about that? I don't know what you're talking about, man. I got pubic hairs yesterday. Yeah. Um, I would know. Liar! I, <laughs> <laughs> I did! I did get pubic hairs! Tonight's guests include Alex Greeno. He's going to be on the program a little bit later on. He wrote a book, uh, Slamming Wrestling. We're going to be talking to him a little bit uh, coming up. And also, the musical group Drift is here. We have to take a very quick commercial break. When we come back, ask Amy a whole plethora of other things and the guests. Stay right back. We'll be right back. <laughs> change, you see. And you need to be prepared. Don't worry, because I got the answer. All you need to do is call them digits you see on your screen, and I'll hook you up. And your mom. It'd be working. If you don't believe me, ask a few of my graduates. What up, though, class? What'd it be like? <laughs> All right, let's take out our books from yesterday. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know about the Romeo and Juliet story, right? But now who in the class can break me off with a little knowledge about what's going on here? Besides this, Romeo is clocking the tone named Julieta. Juliet lives on the south side, and Romeo lives on the north side, and so the two just didn't get along. Can someone else pick up off of the story? Mm -hmm. You know, work with me. All right. Hey, we're right here, Troy. Romeo and Juliet went to this mad off the hook. House party. Romel had a super fly Mac Daddy suit. Julietta had a tight to death dress and pretty weed and press on nails. She was ready to get her groove on. So, as you can see, hooked on Ebonics can work and it can work for you. All you have to do is just pick up the phone and ask, give me a call, you know what I'm saying? And I'll hook you and your mama up. For $29.95, I'll send you the hooked on Ebonics set. And if you call right now within the next five minutes, 
I may hook your ass up with the hooked on Ebonics scramble game. Give me a call. Oh, yes, dude. What's going on? Welcome back to Late Night in Whitewater. I am Dave Holt, and to my immediate right, Amy! Oh, I'm on your right, ain't I? Oh, I had to look. <laughs> no, left. That's how you remember. Left, oh, right, right. I left. Thought... I wasn't calling you a loser. Well, I thought you were saying you were a loser, technically. No. But... What's going on, Amy? Not much. Hey, the Grammys are... Are they done yet, or are they still going on? They probably wrap up in about, what, five more minutes? I don't know. Don't they go to 11? Or, or 11. Who knows? I don't know. Do you see some of the big winners? I, 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 don't, I don't care who wins. You don't care who wins? No, Why, I, I look at all the outfits. The outfits? Yeah, I have to see what everybody's wearing. All right, well, what's the scoop? Well, Cheryl Crow was wearing this... She looked like crap. She's wearing just pants and, like, a cut-off shirt. She looked like a boy. Yeah, it wasn't... Did you see her hair? Well, I wasn't... Damn. But you know who was really hot? Ricky Martin. Well, yeah, oh. he was pretty hot, <laughs> He's too, a Fruit Loop. <laughs> Do, you guys, do you guys know who Ricky Martin is? Is he not gay or what? He was like shaking his hips the whole time. He's some well, Latino, he's Latino guy. Latino. And then he's Latino, but he's speaking perfect English. <laughs> well, you know. All right, who it's do you think okay. was really hot? Will Smith. He had Will like Smith? this leather suit on. Really? Yeah, it was pretty hot. Was he making? Was he getting jiggy with it? Well, that's what he won for, so I guess. Did he? Yeah. He won for what was it? Best pop song know. or best? What was it? I don't know. I was just reading getting jiggy with it, and I saw how good he looked, and you know, I didn't pay attention anymore. Yeah. Damn. That's all I gotta <laughs> say too. So that's the Grammy scoop, huh, Amy? Yeah. Very well, cool. Well, I didn't get to watch all of them, so that's all I know. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, 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 I'm sure we'll see it on, like, Inside Edition later on. Yeah. Cool. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I'd like to give it up to our floor director, the one and only. He does a wonderful job left and right, and he controls everything that goes on down here in the studio. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a nice round of applause for John Steiger. What's up, John? <laughs> What's going on, big guy? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> then why am I talking to you? <laughs> I, I guess it's required on the script. It's required. Oh, yeah. See, it says talk to John. Talk to John. Just you know, there's, John. there's an H in that right there. I don't have an H. You don't have an H in your name? Did you write that, Dave? No. I, I think it's in the credits with an H as well. Yeah. We should probably check that I out. I talked to Brian about that stuff. I'll talk to Brian. At least you're not <laughs> naming Joe Thomas, though. Yeah, that would be. That's a good thing. Uh, yeah. That's Wait. a good thing. We got a big show lined up, John. Yeah, we do. Seriously, we are. Uh, Wrestling guy who wrote a book about wrestling is going to be down here in like a couple of minutes. Couple and, of minutes. Uh, yeah, Drift is going to be down here as well. Drift is. Yeah, I, I yeah. heard them before. Warm I heard them before. Pretty good. Show started. Pretty good. Yeah. Good. Sure. Hey, okay, John. Well, if anything happens, be sure to let me know. Oh, sure, <laughs> sure. Why not? To let me know. Sure, sure. Give it up for John, everybody. <laughs> also, also the guy who is down here each and every week, belting out the tunes. Nice like transition points uh, here, there, and everywhere else. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a nice round of applause to Gordy Persha. What's going on, Gordy? What's up? What's going on, dude? Oh, it's going great. I got my bass back here. I'm not playing the acoustic guitar, yeah. so. What happened? Well, I just had it here because I had it for another purpose, and so I bring it along with. So. Oh, so you're going to be playing this one? Oh, yeah. I don't know what it's called. I'm musically illiterate. This is a bass. Oh, that's a bass? <laughs> yeah, and this is an amp, and these are speakers. Oh, no, I changed my oil yesterday. Yeah? Yeah. Ran out of gas on Monday. Yeah? Other than that, I'm doing pretty good. Sweet. I know. It has no relevance whatsoever. Yeah. Well, and you got a pubic hair, so... Yeah, and I, I got pubic hairs yesterday. Yeah. I didn't see that, so... I'm, I'm glad you didn't see that. I'm glad I didn't either. 19... <laughs> I'm glad together. Yeah. Should I bring out our first guest? Go for it. Let's bring out our first guest. Our 